Right now, emotions are high along the Tennessee and North Carolina state line. A paper mill over a century old announced it will close. That move will cost more than 1,000 jobs in Canton, North Carolina. But downstream in Tennessee, we're hearing from people who say the summer shutdown will immediately improve the health of the Pigeon River. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman joins us to explain. Maria. John, news of the closure brings a mix of response from both sides of the state line. The Canton paper mill in North Carolina is right along the Pigeon River, only about 40 miles away from the Tennessee state line. Folks in Tennessee say the river has taken a hit from the pollution from the plant. So for river users, this comes as good news. Bricks Bricks Jillian is a white water raft guide for about 30 years. He has guided visitors on the river. He tells me he has seen the water change a lot during that time. He hopes the paper mill closing will bring another change. This is huge. We've always had the reputation uh, of having the pollution in our water. And uh, now it's, um, it's, it's going to clean up. And we're going to get even more visitation as a result in this area. Uh, people will want to come. He says the Pigeon River is one of the most visited whitewater destinations in the country. He hopes cleaner water will mean more visitors and more business for towns along the river. He says within just weeks of the shutdown, they expect to see an improvement. As for the North Carolina side, people mourn the closure. About 1,300 employees will lose their jobs for 115 years. The mill has played a central role in that community for families in Canton. It has provided them business employment and security. They say it's a generation for the town. Father worked there. I had uh, an uncle that worked there. Uh, I've got two brothers that are working there now or are working and uh, a nephew and a, and my son works there and uh, several cousins. Now, the company will also close their operations in Ohio. Both mills will close by early summer of this year. As for what's next, the future of the historic structure and sites are not known yet. The mayor of Kenton is working to help mill workers find new jobs. John. Maria Guzman with the update. Thank you, Maria. New